When it comes to smart contract platforms, you know the main players in the game, Ethereum, Cardano's Cosmos. But one of them is already a major player and we haven't even really seen what it can do yet. The fact is, I can't tell you a guaranteed winner. I don't know what's going to happen in the market for sure. If you're looking for a smart contract platform project that could outpace the field in the next bull market, well, we got one to show you today. Let's get it. Walking a bit with crypto. The People's Channel. Home of the squad, largest and greatest crypto community. All the interwebs. No channel works harder to keep you in the know about crypto. Don't forget to support the movement of crypto adoption. We gotta do smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Share this with a friend. Hey hit those pesky notifications while you're at it. Today we are going to be taking a look at Polkadot and why it has potential to be one of the biggest gainers for major coins in the next bull run. Why? Well, then you get into the tech. We get into the reasons why we like Polkadot, the interoperability, the pair of chains. So much the founder. But the fact is, right now if you look at many of the top major coins, Polkadot is down much further from its all-time high than many of the others. That means just to get back to where it was is a bigger gain than many other projects getting back to their previous all-time highs. So who is behind Polkadot? Well, that's none other than Gavin Wood now Gavin Wood, one of the co-founders of Aquarium, of course, with Charles Hoskinson and Vitalik Buterin and many others. And you may not know this, but Gavin Wood actually wrote Solidity, the smart contract programming language of Ethereum. So I know what you're wondering right now. Why is it called Polkadot? Do they love the polka? Do they like bikinis with dots on them? No. The answer is because the infrastructure of Polkadot kind of looks similar to a series of dots, each dot being its own blockchain. Polkadot's focus is interoperability. So you imagine a Polkadot pattern with all these dots being their own blockchain. Can't even as a blockchain of blockchains. You'll get the entire picture of Polkadot ecosystem. It should flow fluidly together. So I mentioned interoperability. What does that even mean? Well, interoperability is basically how blockchains can or cannot communicate with each other. If a blockchain cannot communicate with another blockchain, then it's not interoperable. And think of Bitcoin and Ethereum like that. They are not interoperable. Now you do have wrapped Bitcoin that can be put on Theorem networks, but synthetic is not the same thing. That is aiming to be interoperable by being the highway that connects all the other blockchains so they can communicate together. And you might have heard of Shardang while Ethereum is trying to get Shardang with the next stage of the roadmap, it may take many years. While Polkadot, by God, it's already got Shardang. Now, Shardang isn't what you think it might be. It might have been something that you talked about in the 7th grade with your friends. No, this kind of Shardang is actually sending information extremely quickly by breaking up the information into several different pieces and then reassembling those pieces when it gets to its destination. Is the way that Pirate Bay BitTorrent works breaks up files, sends them quicker. It's in a decentralized way. There's not one place that has all the information for the file when it gets to the destination, it all comes back together. Kind of like Voltron. Now Polkadot actually has a layer 0. We talk a lot about layer 1 blockchains, we just use that generally to refer to the type of smart contract coins in this space. Polkadot has a zero layer. This is called the relay chain. It's the main chain and it does not support smart contracts. So you've got the relay chain. Well, what does it connect to? Well, that's where the pair of chains comes in. I'm not talking about your favorite rapper. Two chains. Pair of chains. Love that joke. It's a great one. Thank you. Love you too. Parachain stands for parallelized chain. I have no idea if I said that work correctly, 
but the point is these chains run parallel to the relay. And what happens is they're all interoperable with each other. This infrastructure allows for an incredible amount of scaling. Now, right now there are 100 pair chain slots. Companies have to run an auction in order to be able to win a bid to get one of the spots to become a Polka dot pair chain. Right now there are 29 auctions that have been spoken for. So obviously if you want to buy Polka dot and you watch crypto, YouTube, then most likely you're interested in it because you think there could be some price appreciation. You think that there's some speculation that this could be a great project, leads to more users, and that the value could ultimately go up. Now I can't tell you whether or not that's going to definitely happen. In general, what we see is major crypto projects over time tend to go up. Of course, if you hold DOT in exchange somewhere, then you're just watching for it to go up. But DOT actually has a purpose in this ecosystem, while certainly most people invest in coins because of this price speculation. There's also ways to get involved with the network itself and with Polkad. It's pretty easy how the amount of that you have determines how you can play a role in the community. To have an active account on the Polkadot network, you just need one dot. If you want to participate in crown loans for the network, well, you need five dots. Now, staking has certainly been controversial because of third-party staking companies like Celsius going under. However, there are ways to stake on-chain with different coins. With Polkadot you can stake on the network. If you have 10 dots, and if you always wanted to have it on-chain identity, or if you ever wanted to vote for council, no, this is not Star Wars. This is an actual thing you can do on the dot network. All it's going to take you. $20 so you may be wondering since the last video we made on Polkad, what's changed? Well, here's some of the updates in the last few weeks. Polka Dots actually released a brand new roadmap includes something called asynchronous backing. It increases scalability by increasing the block capacity for every block on a pair of chain. The time to print that block has now been cut in half. Now, if you're not aware of Kusama, Kusama has kind of been called the canary network for Polkadot. Everything gets tested on it first. And then moves over to Pod itself. The asynchronous backing like anything else is going to roll out first on Kusama, and when it's ready then it'll move on to Polkadot. By the middle of next year, they're going to roll out something called Para Threads. So instead of buying an entire pair chain spot, companies or projects will be able to pay as they go. The new roadmap also includes the third version of XCM as the universal language for cross-chain communication, which of course leads to more interoperability. So as we mentioned at the top of the video, a lot of projects are down considerably. In their all-time high end dot is as well, it's down over 90%. Well, if you look at Bitcoin, Ethereum and many other coins, they're in the 70% range, a 70% decrease from the all-time high. So you're looking for projects in the bull run that have a favorable chance to do well financially or speculatively. Some of these projects like Polka dot the following, the 90% and above range down to their all-time high. Well, just to get back to their all-time high, they've now made a gigantic increase in price. So if you were to look at this, it's a game where all coins. Back to all-time highs, we'll pull it out would be 20% more profitable than many other projects. So let's say Polkadot gets to where Bitcoin is now in market cap. Yes Bitcoin is number one. I don't think Polkadot's going to pass Bitcoin, but as the entire market cap grows into the trillions and trillions of trillions of dollars. It's fun to kind of look forward and say if Polkadot was able to get more Bitcoin as now. If Polkadot were to achieve this the market cap of Bitcoin 1 would be worth 325 bucks. So reasonably pot's been a fierce battle. The polygon for the number 11 spot number 10 has been Dogecoin. Polkadot had held that number 11 spot for quite a while, but recently Polygon passed it by Polkadot down to the 12 spot. Now I can give you financial advice, like I say all the time, but if you're in the market to maybe add Polkadot to your portfolio, 